So I was born in, in, in Miami Beach. I have uh, amazing parents. My mom's Filipino, my dad is black, and they made me, I look Dominican. So I was just like a regular, just nobody, didn't do anything. Like I said, very introverted. And then I started applying myself. I was like, you know what, maybe if I start to study and do all this stuff, I got good grades. I ended up graduating high school with a 4.3 GPA. I got scholarships to go to a couple colleges in Florida, and I was like, I don't wanna go. I wanna go to school, I'm tired of school. And, and being all nerdy, video game oriented, like I've been playing video games since I was three, right? I, I was like, I don't like being this scared, shy person. I wanna be a man. So I joined the army right after 9-11. I spent five years. After I got out of the army, I was like, all right, I don't wanna do anything, I just wanna play video games. The girl I was dating said, you play video games so much that you should just make that a career. And I was like, that's not a bad idea. So I went to school to get my degree in video game programming. After I graduated, it was right around the Great Recession, so I couldn't even get a job as a programmer. I need to do something, so I got a job selling life insurance. After about three years, I got burned out in sales. I ended up getting my first corporate job in Kansas City. Took my then girlfriend, now wife, and got married, drove to Kansas City with her dog, and so I ended up getting hired on with the Department of Housing and Urban Development. I got on with HUD. And I started off in HUD in multifamily. I ended up working uh, as a senior financial analyst. So I'm really good with spreadsheets and numbers. So fast forward a few years, my wife and I both hit our six figure income goals. We're like, we made it. And then we moved to Miami and we're like, bro, it's not enough. <laughs> I remember the saying that 95% of millionaires are made in real estate. So I literally sat down at a computer, I Googled, how do you get rich doing real estate? And I started learning about house hacking. So my wife and I, we bought a duplex, lived in one side, rented the other side out. Then we got introduced to Airbnb, and then we're like, wow. It was good money, but I had no, no freedom. I had no time. I know people who have like 50 units or 100 units, right? And I even saw a guy with 1,000 units. Like, how does that get done? And then that's when I found uh, Rod Boot Bootcamp. Once I went through the program, I understood how the process of multifamily worked. There's no better place, no safer place for somebody to put their money to grow it faster with lower downside risk. Here's the roller coaster. You ready? It's October of 2020 when I invested into my first LP, 76 doors. And then in April, I closed on my first GP, 42 doors in Cleveland Heights in Ohio. My second one was in May 2021, 48 doors, an 18 unit, small one in Maryland. Then after that, I did my 166 unit in Bradenton, Florida with a guy I met at a networking event. And then I did a 121 unit hotel in Madison, Wisconsin, the Cambria brand. Then 2020 was 387 doors in Houston, Texas. That was my first deal that I did with Disrupt Equity. And right before that, they had named me Director of Acquisitions. And then in 2021, in April 80, May 104, in June, the first time, two closings in one month, 128 units in Daytona Beach, 182 in Atlanta, Georgia, and then July, we did 198 in Austin, Texas, and 369 in Austin, Texas. Then uh, July, August, 241 in Dallas. After that, 376 units for Rayford's Edge in Houston, 260 units for Hollister, also in Houston. And then I did my 243 unit in Venice, Florida. This yeah. year I did another 260 unit in February. And right now I'm under contract on three properties, 673 units, one in Austin, two in Houston. That's my multifamily journey in a nutshell. It's like insane. <laughs>